welcome to Reland Films. I do hope that you enjoy this uh, video. Don't forget, if you have not yet subscribed to our channel, hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that bell. Um, like that you guys can get notified for anything and everything movie and series related here at Real In Films. I hope you enjoy this video. Going into it, I was um, I was looking at creating my own kind of a Western films myself to try and you know get thing get the ball going, and uh, Rufus Buck was actually one of the stories I was looking into. And uh, it, then I just so happened to see the audition come up on my end for, for actually didn't even say Rufus Buck. It just said uh, Indian Boys. And I was like, okay, I'll, I'll give that a run. And uh, just so happened to be a Rufus Buck story and happened to be the leader of the gang. So it, it, it all just kind of just worked out it, on, its, uh, on, its own, uh, on its own. Oh, it's 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 a it's a process. It's um you know just reading the scripts over and over, and then mostly it was just kind of figuring out his motivations uh, as to why he's doing these you know what someone would say heinous acts. So I think it was more or less just fi figuring out my motivation as to like why we're doing this and and what why I want to do it, what we're doing, and just going through with that and sticking to that motivation and then once you have that motivation i feel it's it's pretty easy to just go along and and do everything you need to do this particular film i mean the, a lot of the challenges were, were really just time um we shot this thing in very fast i think it was a nine day shoot so it was just a lot of run and gun. Um, uh, luckily, Paul and, and and the other producers they were they were okay with us kind of just improving a lot of it and just kind of getting. We had a good template in the script and we were just kind of getting that across and l allowing us to kind of be ourselves as actors. Um, so yeah, the, the, I see the most challenging thing for this for this shoot was just time. But I was pretty comfortable. They gave me a horse that that was kind to me. Um, um, uh, I I got to spend a little time with with her, and you know, I was petting her. You know, as long as I feel like it's 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 a living being, right? So you just you want to respect it, and I think that's the biggest thing is just respecting the horse and respecting uh, that you're on a living being. And the shooting and everything, we we don't have too much, you know, gun play, gun tricks. So it wasn't like we had to, you know, learn how to do too many crazy tricks with the guns. It was just more or less uh, just knowing how to, how to look, how to look good with the gun in your hand. It was great. Like I, I said before, uh, working with Paul, it was, it was, it was a lot of fun. It was just a lot of time. It was just, we didn't have a lot of time. So he, I think the first day of shooting, he kind of came to me. He's like, Hey, Charlie, you know, we booked you to be you. And, uh, do you? So I took that and kind of ran with it. And I even, even with the other actors, with the gang at least, mostly, you know, we pretty much before each shoot day, we sat down, looked at the, looked at the script, thought about what we'd like to keep, maybe if we wanted to throw anything out or if we wanted to add anything. So it was just all, it was all, we were together in it, in, in the whole thing. I, I personally didn't get any scenes with da with Danny. Um, I did get to go in and meet him um, on set, but yeah, he's just narrating the film. So he's narrating me in a sense. So yeah, we never really had any scenes together, but he's, he's great. He's, he's an icon. It's, it's, it's just, it's, it still blows my mind that we have Danny in this film because you know, you, like I was, I think I told someone earlier, uh, you can't really flip a TV channel without coming across Danny Trejo nowadays. So. Yeah, absolutely would be. Um, it's 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 a uh, it's a fun character, especially when you're getting to touch on a uh, true stories and 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 real events. Uh, you you want to do justice to it, so yeah, I'd love to be able to come in and and then expand on it, you know, and if 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 that's what 
that's that's what's called for at least and you don't want to just start throwing things at it just because they're like oh this was good so let's do another you want to make sure that there's still there's still something there that you want to that you want to get across to your audience so difficult uh i'd say different even though i feel like that word doesn't do the best this description but it's different it's it's definitely different Nike. The office. Okay. Three ten to Yuma. Daniel Jackson. Rachel McAdams. Bob Seeger. A hamburger. <laughs> Hi, this is Charlie Townsend. Don't forget to go check out my movies The Night They Came Home on Video On Demand and Digital on January 12th.